These text boxes are EVP captions from EVPs that I hear later while editing. If you want to hear them, I suggest wearing headphones. Right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to extend, basically extend my aura out into the room. And this will kind of show me who's in the room with me. Pulling up at the Ramada, the Ramada, the Ramada. I'm super angry and I don't know why. I'm gonna make a conscious effort to not freak out and be yelling at people, acting like a maniac. It's crazy, it's really weird. Oh man, my nose is, my nose is bleeding. All right, spirits, so what's the deal? What's the story? What's going on with me? Whoa. I'm upset because I'm not going home. Is that, is that it? Is that all? Because I don't, I didn't think I was that upset. All right, so the bike is locked up. Makes me wary. I might move my bike right there. Always a really good sign. Always makes you feel better because it seems like they need super security. Had to use my super key to get in the door. And this is me. And it's a really nice room like really cool all right so here I am I might move my bike in front of the other person's bike this place is yeah it's a little fortressy there's a gate an electronic gate to get in and then you have to use your card to get into the building and then hard to get into the room. I guess the building thing isn't a big deal. It's usually that, well, I mean, you're already inside a gate, so I don't know. Maybe I will move my bike to that other spot because then it's hard, harder to get to. There's a little bit more foot, foot traffic. Do I need to be concerned? Do I need to move my bike? Not unless it'll make you feel better. If you guys say it's fine. It's protected. It's, it's well protected if I'm getting that right. Okay, so here is my room. Here's my final room and it is a nice room. I'm like super hot. I've been riding angry. I'm s totally surprised because I don't feel angry. I don't feel upset, but apparently it's a sub subconscious kind of thing. So I'm really disappointed that I'm not home with the family tonight. I guess I process, <laughs> I process my emotions differently now. You guys do not care about this at all. I'm, I'm positive. So I'll be editing a bunch of this out. There was a loud thump just now. I was thinking when I came in here, I'm like, this place is haunted. So I set up my, I set up one of my cameras right here when I went out and got stuff. Cause so I was like, okay, it's haunted. This place is haunted. All right, so tour of the room. I'll start at the, I'll start at the front door. Okay, so here's something I noticed while talking to the camera. There's the, there's the iron. Here's the iron holder. I don't know if I still have that one woman with me from one of the first hotels that was like, neatness, order. Ironing board looks vintage. The uh, rack looks vintage. Okay, going in the bathroom. Oh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's a bathroom. It's like painted like, mm, like houses I've lived in with this weird, I don't know what this color is, flesh tone. Oh, wait, where's my arm? This is actually a really nice, nice bathroom. It seems clean. 
there's some wonky stuff like the toilets on not mounted correctly or straight okay leaving the bathroom door that's been painted shut oh and molding was added at the bottom that's nice That's really nice, it's really nice. Got a fridge, got a microwave, got a big TV, it's a Samsung, got a coffee maker, some actual mugs, got one of these cool lamps with plugs in it, a couch, coffee table, AC, and it has this thing. Check this out. Can you see this? This piece of plastic right here. That keeps the wind from blowing the curtain open. So I don't have to use some sort of item that I find in the room to hold the curtain back. The view is incredible. You can see the pool and the other side of the hotel. I think this is the end of our tour and now I order pizza and spend less than the money I gambled away this afternoon because somebody made me think that we were going to win. Nah, I'm blaming, blaming these dudes. I'll stop and then I'll report on whatever haunted whatnot is going on here. The thing I would assume is that it's some sort of playboy. Because that, that bed set screams like super playboy. And that's not cool. I don't want a playboy in here. No offense if it is a playboy. Sorry. My bad. You know what I mean? Like, gigolo player. Okay, at night in the Fresno hotel room. Got that going. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm hanging out, doing my thing, and when I first got here, I felt like this place was haunted and you know it, it just felt like oh somebody's somebody's cruising in here somebody's in here uh, but I didn't feel any after anything after that but I have heard like weird bangs and things like that and I'm in a I'm in a hotel so it could be anything it could be things that I'm unaware of but I've they've sounded like they're in the room and they don't sound like the fridge and they don't sound like the TV acting up and or plumbing or anything like that so I just have kind of paid attention and when I brought it up I started seeing movement all over the room so there is somebody here yeah I'm feeling a little touching on my on my fingers on both hands so there is somebody here And my ears are ringing. This is somebody new from this hotel. This is not somebody who followed me. What are you doing here? Cheating, sleeping. I'm not hearing the word right, am I? Dining trap. I'm not, I'm not hearing it correctly. Who, who was touching my, that was my, me cracking my, my shoulder or back or something. Uh, who was touching my hands? It was very gentle and it was different than, than usual. I thought I was done with talking with spirit. I didn't expect tonight to be talking with anybody. Am I talking with anybody? No. There's movement over there. Feeling something on my eye. Lots of touching. Can you show me where you're from? I'm seeing lava fields, the craters of the moon. Um, the park in, I believe this is Idaho, in southern Idaho. Seeing scenes from there. 
movement. Whenever I'm pointing, that's usually movement, movement direction. So it was like right across there. Ah, and somebody touched the back of my, my arm. Oh, and I got the chills. Ooh, this is like kind of a creepy feeling right now. I think it's creepy because of the chills. Wow. Yeah, lots of touching. Lots of touching. So are you... Are you human? It's not feeling human. Are you making me feel angry today? Or reactive? I think I keep hearing I'm a little teacup. The, the song. I thought I heard that earlier. Or something very similar to it. Yeah, so there is, there's some stuff going on here. Yeah, chills. This doesn't feel, this doesn't feel typical. This is a different feeling. Is there somebody that is just here at the hotel that I'm picking up. Somebody said the word Smurf. A lot of a lot of this time right now is me trying to figure out who I have. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anybody right now. I'm just feeling somebody and I'm hearing little snippets of words. I'm seeing movement with my eyes. Right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to extend, basically extend my aura out into the room. And this will kind of show me who's in the room with me. My ears are ringing. I just heard talking in here, inside the room. What did you say? said we're leaving. I feel like, I feel like the, um, the spirits and then my team is all kind of sitting back being quiet to try to let, um, the others who are here speak. So if you want to talk, I just had a muscle spasm in my knee. I've had, I've had muscle spasms that have related to uh, spirit. So that's something, some movement right here. I'm wondering, um, I don't know, do I, am I touching my, my mouth a lot these days? 
or is this something that is related to these people? Am I, am I a smoker? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out who this is. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Yeah, I keep hearing it. Why am I hearing that? Why are you singing that? I'm seeing, I get the idea of a lullaby and then I also see a, um, a cradle but it seems like it's made out of uh, um, flower petals or something. So, is this somebody that followed me from? I'm getting a fierce no on that because I'm like, followed me from the forest. Did you follow me from the forest? No, I said no. I'm gonna stop this and restart it. And I'm gonna need to go to sleep soon. So, if you have any messages, if you want to talk to me right now is the time. This is it. Cause I gotta go to sleep. Okay, one thing I keep getting drawn to, I keep getting drawn to the flower over here, the flower on the wall. I mean, it's very striking, but I'm drawn to it over and over and over again here. So I think it does have something to do with um, who's coming through. I'm just not, I'm not paying attention, I think. I think I'm tired. I think I'm not able to focus. My eye went blurry there for a second. So that might be somebody doing that to me too. Or it might just be that I'm that tired. A little tap over there. Can you tap twice if you're gonna tap? I'm going to bed. So thank you for meeting with me. Thank you for talking with me. Now you have to let me sleep, okay? Let me sleep. And I thank you and I appreciate you and I'm glad I got to meet you or sense you. And I hope to hear a lot from you in the audio when I listen to it they will explain it to you. They'll tell you what I'm talking about. Now I see somebody with a beard, a brown beard, um, fairly like short hairs or whatever, like very clean. Looks like a lumberjack kind of guy. I'm asking, are you human? And getting, well, what else would I be? <laughs> Welcome to my world, buddy. Yeah, and whenever I say something like that, I'm just trying to be funny. I'm trying to be lighthearted because this stuff could be really scary. More noises. You know, I've been drinking water all night and I'm still dehydrated. All right, since I am spinning out into other, other things, I am distracted and I am done. So thank you and good night.